Thank you. The member for Toronto St. Paul's. Mr. Fitzroy Gordon, founder, president, and CEO of G98.7 FM, Canada's only Black and Caribbean owned and operated radio station, passed away last month. I was honoured to rise in the House seeking unanimous consent for a moment of silence to acknowledge this giant of a man and his formidable contributions to our arts and culture sector. I attended his homegoing at Global Kingdom Ministries in Scarborough, where hundreds, if not well over a thousand, were in attendance. Mr. Gordon was also affectionately known as Dr. Love. He was a trailblazer in our African, Black, and Caribbean communities across the province, the country, and internationally. Mr. Gordon was a husband, a father, a brother, a friend, a radio host, producer, an entrepreneur, a sports enthusiast, a mentor, a confidant, and more. He was a cultural icon. He was a boss. To me, he was a motivating force to keep plugging forward. Years before I'd actually ever get to meet Mr. Gordon, he was a figure I had only heard about. I'd just broken into my 20s. I was unemployed with two degrees and, frankly, feeling defeated. I was sitting at an unemployment centre working on my resume when I learned of this man who had a dream to create a black-owned radio station, one that would not only place our sound and souls on the map locally but across borders. Learning about Mr. Gordon's vision to not only rev revolutionize Canadian radio through black ownership and our dynamic sound, but his passion for uplifting our communities by promoting and working with our small businesses truly inspired me. Mr. Gordon was and will remain an inspiration to our community. He has created a roadmap of excellence, and his next stop was our nation's first black and Caribbean-owned television station. To Mr. Gordon's family, his wife Marvette, his children, and his family at G98.7 FM, thank you for sharing this man with us. He will forever continue to inspire my hustle and my groove. Mr. Gordon's legacy must be protected. We need our provincial government to do its part and uphold and uplift his legacy. This means properly funding culture and education and not tearing away resources. It means supporting our music so that we can continue to facilitate the dreams of the next Fitzroy Gordon. Because to quote Mr. Gordon, dreams never die. Thank you. Thank you very much.